What's up guys, Nerd Desk here, and today I'm going to be showing a comparison video against the NDX 200 turntable and the NDX 400 turntable. Now, there is a significant difference in each unit, and there is a significant uh, DJ group for each unit, and there is a significant, uh, you know, usability. I mean, there's obviously, this one has more features, but obviously this one costs a lot more. So let's get into detail. All right, the first big physical difference that you'll see is that the tray is physical. There's, it's not slot loading, so you actually have to physically close a tray. Also, um, there's no scratching. The pitch only goes to 116%. Uh, and um, one loop, and that's it. Uh, you can do a little bit, a bit of pitch with the jog wheel, a bit of searching, but that's, frankly, that's all you get. So, uh... That's about all you're going to do with that. Though, this is a very good starter unit. If you're wondering if you want to get started with DJing, this is a perfect price point. Judging by this one's uh, very affordable. Uh, you can actually got, get this in a whole setup for about 200 bucks. If you're interested in it, you have an extra some money laying around, buy this first is what I would recommend before wasting on your, your money on something better that you might not be interested in. We have in. the beauty that is the NDX 400 by Newmark. Now, uh, I would let you remind you that Newmark is a cheaper brand, but they have outstanding quality, and I would recommend it to any DJ interested in purchasing a new turntable. Uh, Pioneer is known for its better quality, but is also known for being four times more expensive. So, key features that this one has that the other one doesn't have. Uh, cue points, loop, USB, so you can play music off a, th a thumb drive that I'll show in a second. Um, scratching. It also has, um, uh, like I said, USB, MP3, CD, 100% uh, pitch, pitch lock, um, break, and reverse. So let me show you a few things. So you can scratch. And let me show you with... Also, uh, these cue points can be set up in between different songs on the CD, so we will skip back and forth. That kind of thing, uh, so you do get the basic idea. You can do a lot of uh, cool things with this. Uh, so, uh, here, here's a verse. Alright, so let's go to... I'm going to demonstrate some thumb. Alright, so let's demonstrate USB mode. Uh, I just have an SD card with an adapter right in there right now. So you have full manipulability of the MP3. Yep, you get the idea. So, um, is it worth the extra money? And that is yes. If you're trying to take a serious approach to towards uh, towards D -A -T -D DJing, you definitely want to check out the uh, 400 over the 200. I started out with the 200, and I quickly realized that it is a very skill limited device. Uh, if if you just want it to play music at a party, yeah, the NDX 200 is perfect. If you're looking for something a little bit more serious, the NDX 400 uh, is the way to go.
definitely. Uh, also, I forgot to note that this is touch, so if you're playing a song and you touch it, it will stop, and when you let go, it will play again. Uh, for the price difference, though, these run about $200. The new mark runs about $100. So you are paying that $100 difference, but you are paying that in quality difference because this is a quality machine, and I plan on buying another one soon, and I expect to upgrade from the 200 So I'll see you guys later.